Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a quick unboxing and review for the Kara Stamp Plate number 5 for Kudelia Aina Bernstein. Yes, in this pretty pink box here, we've got the latest in the Kara stand plates. These are pretty cool. I've really enjoyed these. The only thing about these ones like this, though, for characters that aren't MS pilots, it just seems like a little bit weird. Like, what mobile suit should I put on this? Like, I as before I started filming this review, I was thinking, like, uh, what mobile suit am I going to use? Uh, like to demonstrate this in the review, I really don't know what mobile suit I should use. Which one would be more appropriate? I don't know. We'll we'll see. I'll figure it out. But uh, anyway, it does look like a cool thing. And again, you don't have to use these for bases, for your mobile suits, for your kits, for your HD kits. Now, you can just kind of display these as just kind of artwork as well. Hang them up on your wall or just use the clear plastic arm as a stand to just have it like standing up on your shelf or something or whatever you want to do. So there are some different options though uh, for if you don't want to actually use this as a HG model kit stand. Uh, but anyway, so pretty cool box art here, just the same kind of box art we've seen for the series so far, just illustration there as well as a picture of what the Kara stand plate is going to look like. This is 2016, made in Japan. Here in the top, interestingly, like the other characters in the series, her name is a mix of katakana and kanji, indicating that it's a mix of Japanese and foreign names there, so that's uh, just been kind of interesting. Going around the side of the box, just going to be the same kind of stuff here. Here we have a different image of Kudelia there. Uh, and all this. I find her name kind of difficult to say because there's the Japanese pronunciation and then there's the way that it kind of sh would be or should be pronounced in English. So I don't know which one to really go for. I usually end up going for like something in between the Japanese pronunciation and the English pronunciation. So please forgive that. Um, here on the back is going to be where we're going to see a bunch of information here. It's showing it with the Barbatos uh, sixth form, so maybe that's what I'll go for in our review here. But again, you can use it as a mobile suit base. You can use it uh, just standing on its own, or you can hang it on the wall. So we do have some different options there. And of course, you can connect it to other mobile suit uh, Iron-Blooded Orphans Kara stand plates here. Like here, it's connected to the Mikazuki one. That would sort of make sense, I guess. And then the list price of 500 yen for this is definitely pretty good. So let's just go ahead and rip this open here. Inside, there's our one piece. It's looking pretty weird without her mouth on there on the black piece. The black piece looks a little bit not blackish. I don't know, we'll see when we open it up. There's our color paper. Just for a closer look, again here, here's our A plate. And these black pieces here are textured, so they're gonna be uh, like some different rays, different parts are raised uh, on there, so that will give it a little bit more of a 3D look, so that's pretty cool. And then we have B1 is this piece that goes underneath. And then B2 is the parts for the arm, so that's really cool. And then again, here's our paper piece. All right, then it really only takes a few minutes to just snap this up, and here's what you're gonna have if you, again, wanna use it as a base for your HG kit. So, pretty nice. Why don't we grab a Barbatos six form and check it out. And here it is, linked up with the Mikazuki Kara stand plate and the Barbatos fourth form just for a little bit of an example of something, how you could display this if you had all of this stuff. Uh, and yeah, the uh, black part for the Kudelia Kara stand plate is actually a little bit different color black. It's a little bit more of a brownish color, really. Uh, so that's kind of interesting. This is the first, first Kara stand plate to not be black on there, so it uh, makes me wonder about the next month's one, if that's going to be this brownish color as well. That's with uh, that other girl, Atra. So, I don't know, we'll have to see another non-mobile suit pilot, but anyway, yeah, that one will really be hard to do, to choose which mobile suit to display on that. I don't know, maybe the Ryusei Go? I don't know, well, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see when that time comes. Anyway, so yeah, again, there is a small connection piece to connect multiple stands together, and when you're not using that, that's just like on the back of the arm, so it doesn't like get lost, so that's kind of nice if you're not going to be using that. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this review, guys. Hope that was helpful. Again, I, I do really recommend these if you're into Iron-Blooded Orphans, if you have a lot of Iron-Blooded Orphans kits. These are really, really nice. 
Um, really just as useful as an Action Base 2 for 1144 scale kits, and they they look nice and they're appropriate for Iron Blooded Orphans, right? So uh, if you can, go ahead and get one or two or a couple. They're also great for making displays like this. So that's it, guys. want to say a big thank you once again to Mind Phoenix Hobby Store for sending me this uh, to here to review and share with you guys. So big thank you to them, as always. And if you guys do have any other questions about this, leave those down below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys very soon. Bye-bye.